and welcome back to my living room! So you may have noticed that we're in a different location today and that is because I went to Ipsy... What is it called? <laughs> And that is because I went to Ipsy Creator Day in New York City. And as you already saw by the thumbnail, I got quite a lot of goodies. So I want to take a minute to sit down and share them with you all. So without further ado, let's get into these bags and what's inside of them. I actually could probably fit into this one, not gonna lie. <laughs> so for those of you who may not know, Ipsy Creator Day is kind of a sneak peek for creators to see Ipsy Gen Beauty before anyone else gets to go in. And for me, it was a really fun night. I met some wonderful people, made some new friends, and overall, it was just a great experience. The only bad thing for me personally, I know other people had different issues with the event. They said it was supposed to end at 9, and they actually shoot us out of the building at 8. So I didn't get to go see all the brands that I wanted to, but... I still did have a really fun time and I'm very happy with the goodie bags this year. So I'm gonna start off with this bag which has one of my favorite brands, The Bomb, on the front. Now in this bag are things that I myself got personally. These are not things that everyone was given at the event. So in this bag is this cute little bag. I'm always looking for more bags like this to put makeup in, cosmetics, jewelry, etc. So I'm gonna bring you guys in a little closer for this so you can see everything. But this bag is super cute. I love it. And this was the first thing that I got when I walked in the door. And they said you can make your own Ipsy Glam bag. So that was really fun and cute. We got to pick out five different items, whatever we wanted from the selection there. And I picked this really beautiful gold eyeshadow brush. This is from a brand called Inmo Cosmetics. And I love the handle. It's absolutely stunning. It actually reminds me a lot of the Jeffree Star and Morphe brush collection. I also picked out this Elemis Superfood Facial Wash. It's a probiotic gel cleanser. I I tried this out already and it works very well. I'm a big fan of this so far. Obviously, I haven't gotten to try everything yet. When I have tried something, I will mention it and let you know what I thought. I also picked out this Innisfree Pore Clearing Clay Mask with Super Volcanic Clusters. Very fancy. I love how tiny and cute this is. I used this as a spot treatment the other day and it worked wonder, so big fan of this one. The Innisfree brand is great. I love their skincare. Then I got to pick out this Tarte Man Eater Mascara. So cute, super adorable. I was very surprised by how big the wand was though. It's interesting, very unique. And then for my final product for my glam bag, I picked out this Ofra highlighter in Star Island, which was absolutely super stunning. I love the Ofra highlighters and this one is beautiful. And then walking around, there was a girl with a tray of little Ipsy pins and this is just a lip with a lipstick that says Ipsy on it, which is super cute. And now the rest of these things are just samples that I got while walking around the floor talking to different brands. And one of the first things I got was this hair oil by this brand called Neon and Company. I have not gotten to try this yet, but I have been obsessed with hair oil lately because my hair is very dry. So I am very excited to try these. The girl was really sweet. She was like, here, have a bunch of them. So I got four. <laughs> and then this sample I was really excited about. This is from Kanuka. This is CBD and Manuka Honey. And this is a healing skin balm. And this smells absolutely amazing. I love the packaging. I love the smell. And again, I used this as a spot treatment and it was very, very moisturizing for my skin. This next one is from Babe Lash. This is their indulgence kit. And if anything else, I just love the clutch. It is so beautiful and I love that it folds down and it's magnetic, so super cute. I love that. And the handle says Babe Lash in gold. And when you open it up, inside there are two things. One is the Babe Lash Rollerball Perfume in Sweet Velvet, which is very subtle, but I like it a lot. And then you get the Essential Serum, which is the main product from Babe Lash. Now this is one of those eyelash serums that apparently makes your eyelashes super long and lush. I have not tried this yet, but I am curious because I've only ever tried one eyelash serum before and it didn't really do anything. So I'm curious to see if this one is any different. I just love the clutch so much my favorite thing. <laughs> so next I got a little bag from Derma E and they gave us two full-size products which was amazing. So inside the bag I got a vitamin C instant radiance citrus facial peel which I am very excited for. Again I'm big into skincare right now and I love this. Anything with vitamin C I'm very excited about. And then the other one is the vitamin C intense night cream and I love the packaging too. Ooh. It smells very healthy. <laughs> oh my gosh, this has a mini spoon. That's adorable. Oh, that's so cute. I love that. Oh, the packaging though. Ooh, it's like an orangey yellow mud. Oh, that smells amazing. I love skin peels, so I'm going to be using this 
all the time. One thing that I personally really love about Gen Beauty is that it really gets my butt in gear to take care of myself because I will always make excuses when it comes to skincare and they're like, oh, it's too expensive. And now that I have all these products, I don't really have any more excuses to not take care of my skin and not take care of myself. So that's one thing I love Gypsy. Gypsy. <laughs> so that's one thing I love about Ipsy Gen Beauty is besides getting to try all these products, it also helped me to take better care of myself and my skin. And then this brand, I believe 111 Skin, this was founded by a plastic surgeon. I don't know that much about it, but I'm very excited for these rose gold brightening facial treatment masks. And the guy at the booth was very nice. He gave me two of them. So I may be giving one of these to a good friend of mine for her to try as well. Apparently these diminish the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. 24 karat gold enhances skin radiance to brighten an even skin tone. Sounds good to me. Then I stopped by Pixie Beauty and I got this cute little eyeliner. This is the Endless Silky Eye Pen and this is in the shade Opal Overcoat. And then this brand I am a big fan of. The two ladies that I talked to at the booth were so kind and so sweet and I love them. This is Bloom Effects and they made this Royal Tulip Nectar from Real Tulips and this is Moisturizing Nectar. This looks absolutely amazing. When I first saw this on the floor, I thought that it was Tatcha. I was like, whoa, Tatcha's here? But I love the packaging. It is so beautiful. And it really does look like nectar in there. It's almost like a honey-like consistency. Ooh, and it smells very natural. I like that. Mmm. I am very excited to use this. Then I went to the Derma E booth and they gave me a little sun protection mineral powder SPF 30. Always handy for us pale folks. I got some super cute lashes from Koki. They asked me if I wanted more natural lashes or more dramatic. Of course I picked the dramatic lashes. <laughs> but I just love the packaging on this. It's super cute and they slide out. And they had little miniature food going around. Like for example, I saved the box. They had a little miniature pizza, which was adorable. And then a little miniature burger as well, little tacos. And it was just really cute. And I got a bunch of hair care samples I believe. This is Briogeo. I'm gonna mispronounce so many of these companies. This is Matcha and Apple Replenishing Superfood Shampoo and Conditioner. And then I got Perfect Volume Shampoo and Conditioner as well. Oh this is so cute. Also from Pixie I got a Shea Butter Lip Balm. I love their packaging. Pixie is so pretty. And then it was really cute. At the Sua e-booth they had this little competition I guess you could say where they had you look at an iPad and the bigger your smile the more masks you would win. So I guess my smile was pretty big because I won three masks. And I got the Purifying Brightening Peeling Gel Mask. The Donkey Milk Sleeping Mask, which apparently is very good for you. And then this one I'm really excited for. This is the Sua E Hydration Sensor Mask. And apparently this one has like constellations printed on it with stars. And depending on the temperature, the stars disappear or show up. So I'm very excited to try this. Now the last thing that I got was the Petal to the Metal Cream Eyeshadow Palette. Now we went up to the bomb and they said for creators we got to pick one of two. You could get the Shift into Overdrive Palette or the Shift into Neutral. I got the Neutral one because I love the purples and the black. And this is just super cute. I haven't really used cream eyeshadows that much before so I'm very curious to see how these work but I love the colors and they're very pretty. All right, so that is everything in this bag. So that's the first bag that I got. That's all things that I got while on the floor or just as a creator. Now I will say I got one other thing as a creator. This is the Hemp Dreams collection by Sua E. Oh my gosh, guys, this collection is amazing. I was chatting with someone at the booth and she asked to see my Instagram when I showed her. She was like, oh, would you be willing to do a video in exchange for getting all of the collection? I was like, heck yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so then she gave me this bag and I have been trying out these products and I have to say I am a huge fan of this so far. And I will definitely be doing a skincare video on this whole collection on my Instagram. Apparently these are all ultra hydrating and it's good for replenishing dehydrated and fatigued skin. I haven't tried everything yet, but I tried most of these things and they are fantastic. And I also love the packaging of all of this. So I use this as my skincare routine. The first thing I tried was the Hemp Dreams Cleansing Oil. Now I love cleansing oils. It's one of my favorite things to use to take off my makeup. I swear by my Neutrogena cleansing oil, but this one may have changed the game for me. This just feels very rich and luxurious. I don't know how else to put it. And that's the other thing for this whole collection. A little goes a long way. And if you like the smell of olive oil, you will love this whole collection because it is actually made with hemp oil and olive oil. So I love that and I love this cleansing oil. Then after that, I didn't even have to wash my face after using the oil. I just rinsed it and then patted my skin dry. And then after that, because it was a night, I used this Hemp Dream Serum. Oh my gosh, this melted into my skin. 
and I am a huge fan of serums. I love this. This is definitely moisturizing and hydrating as is this whole collection. And this is formulated with hemp seed oil and honey. So then after my serum soaked into my skin, I used the Hemp Dreams All-in-One Moisturizer. My face was moisturized for the rest of the night. I may have used a little bit too much. Again, a little goes a long way with these products, but I love this so much. And then one thing I wanted to try, but I feel like using those products, my skin was already moisturized enough, so I definitely want to try this at some point. The Hemp Dreams Oil Mist, and you can see right here that it's separated. The olive oil is floating on top, and the rest of the ingredients are on the bottom, so it says to shake gently before you use, but I am very excited to try this. And then for the rest of the collection, you have the Hemp Dreams Hand Cream, which I'm sure is absolutely amazing. And I have two masks in here, the Hemp Dreams Mud Mask and the Hemp Dream Sheet Mask. So that is it for that collection. I love Sua E. I love all these moisturizing products because my skin is more dry, especially now that it's getting colder, so love that. All right, so now onto the things that everybody got who went to Creator Day who had a ticket. They gave us a ticket at the beginning of the event, and then at the end, we handed in our ticket, and we got this bad boy and this bag. Now this bag is a collection called Bella Spirit by Chaz Dean, who I believe is the founder of Wen Hair Care. And I kind of just love the aesthetic of the bag. It's really cool. It has a wood print on it and it's this really heavy duty dark denim. So there's Chaz and his dogs who were at the event. Super cute. I did of course go through everything as soon as I got it, but it was late at night after I'd come back from Manhattan, so I don't remember everything. So if I act surprised or very excited to see something, that's probably why because I forgot that I got it. So this is the Bella Spirit by Chaz Dean Cleansing Conditioner. That's the biggest bottle in here. Then we also have Dry Oil Intensive Treatment Spray. And this is a lightweight oil design to add high gloss shine to hair and velvety finish when sprayed on face and body. Then you also have a facial cleansing treatment by Chaz Dean, the same collection as you can probably tell. Ooh, that smells really nice. It's a very light, clean scent. It almost reminds me of cucumbers. Then we have the ultra nourishing intensive body treatment. Also smells very light and clean. And we also have the lemon and rice exfoliating lip scrub. Oh, it's so cute, a little bitty baby bottle. It's got a very, very faint smell to it, but it smells good. <gasps> Wait, stop. Oh my god, there's a little spoon that's included that's so cute. Ah, I love a little spoon. We'll have to see if this one can compete with my Jeffree Star one, though. And then we also get the Wen Fragrance Faith by Chaz Dean Perfume, so that's fancy. I'm very curious to see what the bottle looks like. Hold on. Let's see what this baby looks like. Ooh, that's pretty. Oh my god, that's so pretty. <gasps> I love that. It's got lavender in the back of it. I believe that's what that is. So cute. And the top of the bottle is wood. Of course, I can't smell anything. Come forth! Oh! <laughs> Ooh! I don't know how to describe that. Ooh, it's almost had like a woodsy after smell. Is that a thing? After smell? Like aftertaste? All right, let's see what it says in the box, what this is supposed to smell like. It's very hard to describe. It smells like flowers and woods. And then the last thing in this bag, which I have been using every day since I got it, not gonna lie, is the Bella Spirit Restorative Lip Treatment. And the thing that I love about this, two things actually, I love how big this is because it can just go over my lips in a single swipe. But I also love that this has no smell. It has no smell and no taste, and I kind of like that because there are so many products that I have where it has a smell to it, and it's nice at first, but it tends to linger for a while. Sometimes there are just days when I don't want to have any flavor or smell to my products, so I love that. All right, now, the moment you've all been waiting for, this big one. Oh my god. <laughs> this was the bag I was most excited for, of course, because there's so much in here. So first off, there is a full-size Morphe palette in here. This is the Copper Spice 25A palette. And this is a very neutral fall tone palette, which is absolutely stunning. I love all the browns in here and that there are a row of golds and bronzes as well. So that's a really nice neutral palette. However, you guys know I'm not much of a neutral person, so that will be a Christmas gift for one of my friends. <laughs> and then I was also very excited about this. I had seen this packaging as I was walking around the floor and I was hoping that they would give us full size and they did. 
This is the Nature Lab Tokyo Shampoo and Conditioner and these smell amazing. This has such a light, fresh scent to it. I don't know how to describe it. It says it has grape stem cell technology inside of it, but apparently this is a color boosting shampoo for instant radiance and next level shine. So I am very excited about these. And I also just love the packaging. It's very aesthetically pleasing and I love holding it in my hands. And also very clever of them, they put them in little plastic baggies in case they leaked, which I believe the shampoo leaked a little bit, but not too bad. Next, we have the Mamon, Mamond Calming Hydro Sleeping Mask with Calendula. Oh, it's so cute. Oh, ooh, that smells amazing. Again, I have no excuse not to take care of myself now. Oh, this comes with a spoon. This is the new trend for 2019 products that come with spoons. This is so cute. I love that because whenever I watch skincare videos on Instagram, when they take things out with a spoon, it's very satisfying to me. I don't know why. See, now we have the Pure Lease Matcha Matcha. Now we have the Pure Lease Matcha Green Tea Antioxidant Priming Moisturizer. Oh, moisturizer. Yes, please. Ooh, I love the packaging on that. So pretty. It matches my outfit. <laughs> skincare, skincare. I see Derma E. Ooh, Derma E Vitamin C Concentrated Serum. Oh, I love that. Let's see what you look like. Ooh. Ooh. That looks really cool. Love it. Another Babe Lash Serum. And then I got this same exact brush set last year at Ipsy. So this is the Moda Prismatic Four Piece Face Perfecting Kit. So I may put this in a giveaway. They're green and purple, which is a beautiful color combination. And then we have Eva New York City Main Magic 10 in 1 Styling Mousse. Ooh, I love mousse. I used to use mousse all the time in high school. I love the Eva New York City. Last year they gave us the glitter spray, which was fantastic. I love that stuff. They also gave us the dream cream. And that stuff smells, no kidding, like cheesecake. I love putting that in my hair. Next we have the Yensa Pumpkin Turmer 2 in 1 Radiance Polishing Mask. Ooh, anything pumpkin I am here for. I love the packaging, that's really cool. Gently exfoliate, hydrate, and resurface skin. Mm. Can I smell you? Ooh, really does smell like turmeric and pumpkin. That's cool. I love the metallic aspect of this packaging, super cool. Oh, anti-aging serum. We all know I need that. By Urban Juve. Hemp oil, I believe hemp is the new thing. <gasps> I love that it's black. Oh, <laughs> this is such a cool bottle, oh my goodness. Let's see what you smell like. Ooh. Oh my gosh, I don't know what that smells like, but it smells really good. Oh, it has a very strong lavender smell, but I love that. It smells very natural. Oh, I cannot wait to use this. I love this. It says, leaves you feeling hydrated, fresh, and fierce. <laughs> That's so cool. All right, so this mask, I brought all this over to my boyfriend's house and I was going through looking at everything. And we actually both tried this out last night. It was so much fun. This is the Ebonel Skincare Magnetic Dead Sea Mud Mask. When they say magnetic, they're not joking. This is amazing. So this comes with a little magnet, which is very, very cool. I, the only thing is I wish the magnet was bigger, but it's still really fun. So cool. And when you open it up, this is what the mask looks like. Dead Sea Mud, you know. But what's really cool about this mask is that what you do is you put it on your face and you leave it on for about eight to 10 minutes. And then to take it off, you don't wash your face. Oh no, you use this magnet, wrap it in some saran wrap, and you put it over your face like this and it pulls the mask off. It is the coolest thing I've ever seen. And then so it takes most of the mask off your face and then you just massage what's left on your face into your skin. And my skin felt very, very soft and smooth. So this is one of my favorite products though. I've never seen anything like that before. Now what was sticking to that is the Ciate London Glitter Storm Lipstick. This lipstick looks absolutely Absolutely beautiful. I need to do a swatch video just for this on my Instagram. Look at how beautiful that packaging is. Oh, it's so stunning. And then the actual lipstick itself, the glitter is insane. And it looks like it's metallic and glitter at the same time. And it has a nice light smell to it too. So I'm very excited to try this. This is in the shade Electra. So I cannot wait to do a lip swatch video for this on my Instagram. I was so happy when I saw they included this in this year's bag. I love the Bomb Bomb Cream. <laughs> and this is from Sol de Janeiro, the Brazilian Bomb Bomb Cream. I love the smell of this. It's absolutely amazing. I'm almost through with my first one from last year, so I'm so glad I have this one now. But this is the packaging and the cream just smells amazing. I love putting this all over my body and my Bomb Bomb. <laughs> and it's supposed to be fast absorbing, which is true, can vouch for that. 
and visibly tighten the appearance of skin. I don't know if that's true, but it smells amazing and it does absorb quickly. I remember when I first started using this, my boyfriend was like, wow, you smell really good. <laughs> I was like, oh, thank you. It's the bum bum cream. He's like, bum bum cream, what's that? All right, what is this? I love the sparkly packaging on this one. Current Mood Mood Patch Tea Infused Eye Gel Trio. What? Ooh, <gasps> there's so many of them in here. What? Look at all of this. Oh, it's so cute. Ah, I love it. All right, so Happy Place. Inspiring Tea Infused Aromatherapy Eye Gels. That's so cute. Downtime is the yellow one, calming ones. And then Perk Up. Energizing. Ooh, that's so much fun. Oh, I love that. Then this one got a little squished. This is the Foam and Vitamin C Cleanser from Ofra. Ofra's doing skincare now? What? Oh my goodness. Holy crap. This is beautiful. Oh, that is so stunning. Ooh, I love that. It's like a metallic peachy color and it's so pretty. Okay, Ofra, I see you. Oh my goodness. That literally smells like fresh squeezed orange juice. Oh, I cannot wait to use this. Refreshing and gentle cleanser that removes dirt, oil, and leftover makeup. We will see, because I use some heavy duty makeup. All right, ooh, this is very, very fancy. Again, this is the 111 Skin Harley St. London. This is made by the Plastic Surgeon. It says the Regenerative Kit. Energize your complexion with our refreshing essentials. And you can tell they're from London because they spell energize with an S instead of a Z. <laughs> this bag feels very bougie. Not gonna lie. Oh my goodness, this is fancy. And this also has a very fancy metal and fabric zipper pull, which says 111 skin on it. Even the zipper sounds bougie. Oh my gosh, this bag though, it's like a purse. This is super high quality. Oh my goodness. First thing is Sub-Zero Depuffing Eye Mask. That's fun. Oh, it looks like we got three of these. So three eye masks. And we also have the Cryo ATP Sports Booster. What is this? Developed by renowned Harley Street plastic surgeon, Dr. Yanis Alexandridis. I hope I pronounced that right. Inspired by space science. That's new. Combines innovative ingredients with more than 20 years of surgical experience for clinically rivaled results. Works to rejuvenate and refresh tired skin. Mimicking the effect of extreme cold on the skin, this booster contains cellular energy ATP to encourage optimized cell function. Let's see what this bad boy looks like. Open sesame! Thank you. So I don't know about you guys, maybe it's just watching too many skincare videos on Instagram, but I love anything in the dropper form. Hey, you wanna try some skincare? Take no. It says mix one to two drops with your moisturizer or apply directly to skin after cleansing. I wish I had more faces and more body to try all this stuff on. I feel like I don't have enough. Ooh, I am loving the pamphlet for this too. Look at the color coordination. Yes. Who needs plastic surgery when you can do skincare instead? <laughs> oh, and then we have from the same company that did the little bottles for the shampoo, Perfect Shine Clarifying Scalp Scrub. That sounds amazing. Although for me, it is typically hard for me to get to my scalp because I have so much hair. Oh, I want to eat that. That smells so good. Ooh. Oh, yeah, I want to eat that. <laughs> the other thing I'm really excited about all these hair care products is I love sharing things with my boyfriend because he also has longer hair. He has a very similar hair type to me. He actually loved a hair oil that I got last year from the brand called Hask, and he loved it so much that he used the little vial that I got as a sample, and then he bought a whole bottle for himself, so I love that. Oh, this is so cute. The Balm Cosmetics, a bunch of little mini lipsticks. This is adorable. Meet Matt Hughes Nude. And it has three exclusive new nudes. That's so cute. I love the packaging, the Balm. They're super cute. And we have a magic black, <gasps> black powder sheet mask. I am in. I love anything black. <laughs> the power of black powder for your skin. Fast, deep, effective. Graphene. <laughs> I wish I got two of everything so I could just share all this with my boyfriend and have like a skincare day with him. That would be so much fun. Ooh, Briogeo, don't despair, repair. Deep conditioning hair cap system. Ooh, what? Yes, I like this. Let's do it. Deep conditioning masks. Whoa. Oh, there's so, I could do this with my boyfriend. Yay. <laughs> step one and step two. Oh, that's fantastic. Babe, if you're watching this, let's do a hair care and skincare day. Pickup line, supercharged firming cocktail anti-aging eye cream, perfectly posh. I love that. <laughs> Take your vitamins, it's so cute. Featuring our ABC vitamin blend. I can't pronounce that. 
Bacchiol, Niacinamide, and Ascorbic Acid. I knew the last one. <laughs> Apparently it brightens and boosts collagen in one step. Love that. <gasps> Neon and Co. Frizz Fighter. Don't just win the hair game, own it. I love smelling things, can you tell? Oh my gosh, that smells fantastic. What is this? <gasps> Euro <-y. laughs> I can't say it. U R U O I. How do you pronounce that? U O I. Extra mild lotion, a blessing of water. Oh, it's a blessing of water for every skin, relieving dryness with a gentle touch. Oh, it's made in Japan. That's so cool. Let me open you. What do you look like? <gasps> oh, the packaging is giving me life. I love it. I don't know why I'm French. It smells like nothing. I love that. What are you? Extra mild lotion. Wait, let me try you on the back of my hand. Can I try you? Oh, just run, run, run. Ooh, whoa. That's really cool. It feels like water. <laughs> oh, wait. It smells very, very lightly of like some kind of wood, like mahogany. Oh, it feels nice. I like it a lot. I have been blessed. <laughs> some people have holy water. I have this stuff. I've been blessed. <gasps> Kombucha. This, so a couple of things got a little squished in here. But that's because they put so much in this bag. Kombucha and 11% AHA exfoliation power toner. I don't know what that is. Lactic and glycolic black tea and tree bark. I love putting trees in my face. It's my favorite. Ooh. Well, that looks fancy. Ooh, it's glass. Gotta be careful. It's silly. They put a glass bottle in this little box and they didn't expect it to break? What are they thinking? But it says youth to the people. I like youth. Do, we all? Do I drink it? It smells like nothing. I want to smell it, but in order to smell it, I gotta open it. And if I don't open it, I'm gonna waste it. So basically, it's good for you. At night after cleansing, saturate a cotton pad and sweep over clean, dry face and neck. What if it's wet? Do not rinse off. Use 35 times per week, gradually working up to nightly use. I love exfoliation! You get an exfoliator, and you get an exfoliator, and you get an exfoliator. <laughs> the burps are weak in this video. I apologize in advance. Koki Professional Kissable Liquid Lipstick. This is way too pink for me, but someone else is gonna love it, I know. Smells like nothing! I love that. <laughs> My hands still smell like that blessing water toner mush. Ooh, whoa! My hands feel very soft. I'm impressed. I have been blessed. <laughs> Apto Skincare Face Mist. Pomegranate. I'll try it right now, because I'm hardly wearing any makeup except for the mascara and concealer. <laughs> I may have put too much. <laughs> Ooh, that does smell like pomegranate, though. Pomegranate slash grenade. What is grenade? <laughs> oh, shake well before use. Whoops. More is more when it comes to mist, a simple gesture that leaves skin looking refreshed and protects against dry skin. Do I look refreshed? Spray generously during dry weather when traveling by air. After exercising, order refresh skin in excessive heat. Mist face lightly to set makeup and keep you glaring throughout the day. Don't tell me what to do with my life. Next! Ooh, it's green! <laughs> cannabis! <laughs> cannabis, let me guess. Does this have cannabis in it? Foaming cleanser. I love the green. That's so cool. Oh yeah, that smells like cannabis. I mean, not that I would know. Because I've never had it. Gently purifies and soothes, infused with vanilla and orange. What? Vanilla and orange? I smell no vanilla and orange in that. No, I don't smell it. Ah, the promise is your skin will feel soft, hydrated, and beautifully revived. We'll have to test that out. I love the bottle, though. <gasps> Some makeup, pixie beauty, and the shade stick, in case you want to throw shade endlessly. Ooh, it's brown. What are you? Oh, could be used as eyeliner or eyeshadow. Poop brown, my favorite color. And this is in the shade Matte Cognac. And then from Pop Beauty Pout on Point Lip Liner. I love their packaging, it's so pretty. For a second I thought I'd stop recording. Ooh, and I got concerned. Pout on Point, what shade are you? Kinky Pink. <laughs> Kinky Pink, how did they know? Oh, I love that. I must show you up close. Focus. Damn you, focus man. The packaging reminds me a lot of Benefit with their brow products. This is super cute. All right, what else do we have in here? Fan. Oatmeal face scrub. Ooh, hello, friend. There's marshmallow extract in this. <gasps> we got another spatula. Oh, that's a big one. I like it. Ooh, I can see the oatmeal texture from here in a frosted bottle. I love that. Nope, not marshmallow at all. 
but it smells good. What is this? Nelson Beverly Hills Moisture Healing Mask. Ooh. Oh, it's for your hair. I thought it was for your face. Detangles controls frizz. That's what gave it away. <laughs> no, I need my face. The frizz on my face is just too much. My mustache? Oh, you have no idea. <laughs> After shampoo, apply. Will do. <laughs> what do you smell like? I can't tell. Because, ooh. Ooh, argan oil. Mm -hmm. I can smell it through the packaging. We have a box. A silver box. Gronal chemist. Grown, no. <laughs> so, I'm so smart. I just said gronal chemist. It's grown alchemist. I'm good at things. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see, but grown alchemist is kind of embossed on the box there. That's cool. A bag in a box. Grown alchemists. We have a woman's face on the inside. Oh, what is this? Some reading material. A book. Oh, pictures. I like books with pictures. And I love that it's black. And it says grown alchemist on the tag in case you forgot where you got the box from. This is so fancy. <gasps> grown alchemist instant smoothing serum. Oh, I love it. I went to a skincare serum, skincare, I went to a skincare serum once I was inside here. I went to a skincare uh, seminar once, a talk, and I think one of the things that they said is you know something is good if it has a bottle like this. Any kind of tinted glass like this protects the ingredients from the sun, I think something like that. I don't know what I'm talking about, clearly. Grown Alchemist Detox Serum. Oh, this looks like a jelly. Oh, wait. Wait, I want to. Oh yes, this is a jelly. What do you smell like? Whoa, that smells intense and expensive. <laughs> Gentle gel facial cleanser, geranium leaf, bergamot, rosebud. Ooh, so cute. And then there's a box. What's in the box? Amenity kit. This amenity kit of advanced natural formulations addresses all concerns of facial skin, lips, and hands feeling hydrated, soft, smooth, and protected. I like feeling protected. So we have one. Three thingies in here. These are so cute. Lip balm, hand cream, and Hydro Repair Day Cream. I'm assuming this is for your face. This looks very fancy. I would not be able to afford this, so thank you, Ipsy. I do not know how much this is. I probably don't want to know. Sweet Chef. What is that? Ooh, a cute little bag. <gasps> I love how colorful these are. Wait. It's rainbow. Sweet Chef. Superfood Vitamins Moisture Boost. This must be a moisturizer. We got another spoon. How many spoons have we got in this video so far? Have you been keeping count? Because I haven't. <gasps> this is so cute. Ooh, I hope you smell good. Ooh, lavender. Yes. Ah, whoops. <laughs> As I was putting it back, I accidentally got moisturizer all over the top, so I gotta use it now. What should I put it on? I'll put it on my chest. Demonetized? Oh my gosh, that lavender smells so soothing. Oh, I love it. Oh, that's nice. I like. Mm. And we have two more things in this cute little bag. We have ginger plus kombucha vitamin D chill mist. What is that? After cleansing, use a ginger kombucha chill mist in place of a toner to plump, nourish, and prep the skin. That's so cute. Now, I actually don't like ginger that much. That doesn't smell like anything. Cool. Love that. I have a very heavy negative connotation towards ginger because one time I drank ginger beer and it made me sick. No fun. So anything ginger, I'm kind of like, mm -mm. but that doesn't smell like ginger, so I love it. Then we have the ginger plus vitamin C serum shot. My skin is gonna be glowing. <gasps> it's another bottle. I love it. Oh, it's so cute. What do you smell like? I can't open it because my hands are so moisturized. <laughs> Also doesn't smell like ginger. I'm a fan. <laughs> and then we have a whole packet from Suai. Masks Ooh, galore. We have the Collagen Hydro Lip Plumping Mask. Hydro Gel. Then we have a Sweet Pink Bubble Mask. Another Purifying Brightening Peeling Gel. Cactus Soothing Gel Mask. That looks fun. And then this. Unicorn Glow. I think I tried this for the first time last year and I was obsessed. This smells amazing. And also, I love the packaging. Purifying and brightening. So that's everything in the little Sua E bag. <gasps> oh, we got a full-size Kanuka CBD cleansing body bar. That's exciting. I always need new soap. Ooh, hello. Oh my gosh, this really does smell like CBD oil. Oh, I love bar soap so much. 
I have never used the ColourPop eyeshadow palette, but we got the Rendezvous Pressed Powder Palette. Packaging is super cute. And look at those colors. I mean, come on. Ah, oh, that blue is calling my name. I'm very excited to play with these. Oh, and it was one thing that I was really sad about was that I got there a little bit late to the event and Lipstick Nick was on the first panel and I missed her. I was so sad. I could have been like, Lipstick Nick, I love you. I love all the makeup you do on Jeffrey. The second to last thing in this, this I'm very excited about because I saw this while I was walking around on the floor. I was like, no, I really shouldn't buy that. But I don't have to because it was in the bag. This is the Ocean Awakening eyeshadow palette. And <laughs> I was just standing feeling the packaging for a good like five minutes because it feels it's that soft matte touch where it feels like velvety smooth I just love that so much and the palette itself feels the same way it's so pretty inside are you guys ready for this this palette is stunning mm. I love all of the colors and they're all inspired by like ocean terms beaches for example it's called salty driftwood dune vitamin c starfish suntan abyss Tide Pool. I just love the names and I love the colors, so I cannot wait to play with this. And that is by the brand IBY Beauty, which is a woman-owned brand. I have saved the most exciting for last. When I saw this was in the bag, I screamed. It was so exciting. I love this so much. So this big, beautiful box was inside this bag. And this is from the brand Ricky Graceful. And this is a full-size, wearable, Lighted 7X Magnifying Mirror with Stand. Come on now, they are spoiling us this year. I love the box too, because you open it like so, and then it slides open like this, and it's so cool. Now, I did open this already. I did charge up the mirror so I could show you guys because it did not come charged. I am just obsessed with this thing. So the stand is down here, and this is the mirror. And the thing that I love about this mirror so much is that on the back, it has a little finger hole, so you can pop this up here, turn it so it stays, and then you can hold the mirror like that. So I just think that is the coolest thing. And then when you charge it up and you press the little heart on the top, it has several layers, oh, several layers. It has several levels of brightness. <gasps> I'm just obsessed. I love it so much. It's so cool. So this is the bottom of the stand, which is super cute in the shape of a heart. It also comes with a charging cable. It's super quick and easy to put together. I just snap the finger and back in. Put this in at the bottom. Twist it. Put this on. And there you go. There is your mirror. Travel friendly. Super easy to use. I love it and I'm obsessed. I cannot believe I got a full freaking size mirror. This is amazing and this is definitely my favorite thing. I am very excited to use this. That's it for this whole Ipsy Gem Beauty Creator Day haul. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed going through and unboxing everything with me. I'm going to give you a little handheld view from what I'm looking at right now. I hope you enjoyed this haul and we will be going back to more spooky content next week. Alright guys, have a wonderful day and thanks for watching. Bye!